musicians in bars getting beer. Hey, how's it going? Doing good. How you doing? Good. Tell us about your band. Good. We're Black No Graffiti. <laughs> Man Arbor Mission. We play a, a melodic hard rock sort of uh, mixture. Um, and yeah, we have a lot of fun with what we do. What's your name? I'm Ricardo. I'm Gabby. Gabby? Yeah. We have other. We also have another guitarist named Chris. Uh, the other bassist is Adam and uh, Chris's brother Kurt on drums. Unloading the band. Right? Yeah, they get the, the fun job. Abby, tell us how the band started. Um, we uh, well, to be honest, I uh, joined the band only like three years ago, so they were oh, yeah. already a band uh, before I was there. So yeah. who started up? Uh, originally, it was uh, the brothers Chris and Kurt. Um, they grew up with Adam Niner as their best friend since high school, so they've been doing music on and off. Uh, I joined about six years ago, oh, yeah. um, and we had a good thing going. But then we met Gabby, and uh, it made it a great <laughs> thing. So she played, she filled out a lot harmonically and uh, on keys, and added another layer. So you guys do. are the two main singers. That's correct. So tell us how that works. Um, a lot of you know, have to know the lyrics because both of us together have to be totally in sync. So it's really cool, though. A lot of harmonies, a lot of fun. Yeah, pushes us to uh, be better at what we do. Cool. And uh, so tell us about the, uh, the music. So I would say it's a hard rock. It used to be a lot heavier, but then we, uh, when Gabby came on board, it had a very melodic sort of presence to it. So we decided to focus more on that and uh, create something more than just like in your face music. Well, we're doing that too, but you know, we wanted to have a little layer, a little, you know, staying power. A lot of effects and things like that. Yeah, so we keep pushing ourselves to see what else we can do and where we can push music. So what's the scene like in Ann Arbor and Detroit? Oh, it's uh, it's pretty awesome. There's a really good connection between the two cities, actually. Yeah. There's a good friend of mine, Shelly. She's from Ann Arbor, but she lives out in Detroit, and she tries to make it a point to bring uh, bands from Detroit to Ann Arbor and vice versa. And so it's uh, it's we wish it was a bigger community. Uh, it's a lot of folk music in Ann Arbor at the moment, but you know we're getting our niche there. And so, how did you join the band? How, did they seek you out, or did you seek them um, out? It's this beautiful thing called the internet. Yeah. Heard um, of it. Yep. <laughs> it's common. So yeah, I had a profile on there and Chris hit me up like, hey, wanna join? And I was like, sure. <laughs> that easy, eh? That easy. Yeah. And where was, where was your first gig with them? Uh, here actually yeah. in Toronto? Toronto. At the hideouts. At, for at Indie Week. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Indie Week. Of yeah. Course. And it's funny that that show, the power actually cut out halfway through our performance. Oh, wow. And uh, we just kept singing and it actually changed how we wrote that song that we were on at that time. So, yeah, we've got uh, really good connections to the city. Yeah. So that was that the old heart, the old hideout, or the new hideout? As far as I know, the it's little where one it was or the big, one? the big one? The big one, yeah. The big one's on College. The little one was on Queen Street. I think it was the, the big one, yeah. 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 So, uh, so who does the writing? We all take turns. Um, I write a, a decent amount. Yeah. Um, it's all kind of like a whoever brings an idea, we just kind of oh, yeah. mix it together, and it's one big old Open pot of like yeah. creativity. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we usually try and formulate the basis of the idea, and then bring it to the band, knowing that it's probably going to change. Yeah, being open to creating something different. I heard you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And so, so do you have material out there? Do you have records? Oh yeah, um, we're actually working on our third record right now until to drop next year. Um, we recorded one about five years ago, uh, two dropped about three years ago, so it's about time for a new record. So we have it, uh, you can find it on Spotify, iTunes, yeah, okay. um, Bandcamp, do we have Bandcamp? But pretty much any social Anywhere. media. Yeah, yeah. Well, we got a website, uh, blacknocraffiti.com. Dot com. Uh, you can come visit. Uh, and yeah, pretty much anywhere you can find music, you'll find us. Right. And so how, how did the records or the recordings rather uh, change over the years with the new members and stuff like that? Yes. Are you on two of them? or The one that's coming out yeah. in, uh, next year. So we're excited to put out new material right now. Yeah. To get you know, people to hear what Gabby sounds like. Which right. It's awesome. Right, cool. Um, but yeah, we uh, we built a studio in the basement, and uh, it was a lot easier to record that way. Uh, but once we are realized that we could do more with the music, we got in contact with our friend Chuck Alcazian, uh, who works over at uh, Pearl Studios in Canton, and uh, produced records like Filter, Short Bus, things like that over there. So we had some good connections there from early on. Yeah. Uh, and then, yeah, right now we're laying down the uh, tracks in our studio and then bring them over to Chuck, probably to finish off with drums and vocals over there. You think so? And uh, anyone else you want to give a shout out to who's helped you along the way? Oof. That would be Chris's department, unfortunately. 
Uh, just folks here at Indie Week bringing us on. Uh, we've been, this is our third time playing. Um, and Bovine Sex Club, this is our third time playing this too, so that is yeah. always a great stop playing there. Um, and truth be told, Dime next door. We have uh, imbibed <laughs> a lot of $6 food over there, and uh, it's all quality. They so. put up with all the noise that we make. We're there. willing to uh, talk about sponsorship if they're listening, so. Yeah. Yep. So am I. <laughs> Roadhouse. Yeah. Oh, it's great. It's nice to meet you guys. So, yeah, nice uh, Have to a great you. gig tonight. and uh, It's going to be a great night for music. Yeah, it's great. Thanks for coming out, hey, man. Thanks for having us. Cheers. Cheers.